Hello guys, welcome back today. Today I'm going to show you how to link your audio clips in DaVinci Resolve. And by the way, if you don't have DaVinci Resolve, this will work in any other video software and it's easy peasy. So, to start off, what I need to do is, is find the footage I'm going to, going to be working with. But what I will do is real quick, I do this for every project. I make a DaVinci Resolve project folder and I put in what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do right now is, is how to link audio and then video. And as you can see, I've messed up typing it, but whatever, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to open up another folder here and then go into my phone card. I'm going to grab the video file. Now you could do this with the voice recorder, but I'm going to be doing this with the video instead. Um, uh, I don't think there's a different much, but here's the video file I want. I'm going to double click open this file and just snap these together here. I'm going to drag this video file into here. By the way, if you're wondering where your video files are on your phone, if you're recording from your phone, they're usually in the DCIM folder in there and then under camera in here. So that's done. Now we're going to go to my SD card here and grab the onboard audio of the camera from in here. And I forgot there's stuff in here. So I'm going to wait for us to load in. And I think it's this clip. I think it's this clip because I think this clip is in 4K. Yes, it is in 4K. No, it's 1080p actually. No, I think it's this clip. So we're going to drag this into here. And then what we're going to do is, is minimize this. And then we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve. So I'll come back once this has loaded. DaVinci has loaded. What I'm going to do is, is open up one of my folders. You can right click and create a project folder. I'm going to use this folder here. And I'm going to right click to project and call this the same thing that the folder is actually called. So I'm going to go back to this folder actually. I'm going to cancel that a second. Go back to this folder. I'm going to press F2 and then press Control C to copy it. And then go back into here, grab the project and name the project the same thing. Click create. Then I'm going to jump to the media pool here. I'm going to press the Windows key. I'll press the Windows key. Go back to the folder I was just in. And then drag my clips into here. It's going to ask, do you want to change the frame rate? I'm going to click yes, of course. And then we're going to go to the edit page. Highlight both our clips. Drag both our clips onto the timeline here. Now, as you see, it's going to add them one by one. But what we want to do is, is split the clip and drag it across here. So as you see, we got two clips here. I'm just going to zoom in here. Now we don't need my phone footage because I was just using it for audio. So what we could do is we can click the unlink tool, click on this, click backspace, and it'll delete it for us. And then we can just click this back again. Now what you want to do is before you record or once you start recording, give yourself some air in the room and then clap three times. What that does is, it shows you the wave points on the timeline here. If I click this and do audio, it shows us the wave points on the timeline, and we can then link up the clips a lot easier. So if I play this back, I can see where it's going. So what I could do is, I could zoom once again, grab the second audio clip. Now it's good, good to name these if I do... M50 for my camera here, which I know is my camera because of the uh, tag here. And then here, I'm going to put S8 Plus for my microphone. Or actually, I'm going to put Rode. We're going to put, uh, what was it? Rode uh, Plus S8 because I had them recording from each other. And what I could do is then is grab this and light it up with the audio clips from the camera here. So if I drag this. Now, there is, in certain softwares, you can just do a, um, you can usually go up to, I think it's like settings and then file, triple timeline, and you can, I think it's audio scrubbing maybe, or layered audio editing or selection for, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm doing it manually, and usually the best time is to do it manually. So we're going to line this up here, and then we're going to play it back. Now, if both of your mixes over here, if they both line up and you can't hear any 
uh, overlapping. So for example, if I just moved ever so slightly, if you hear that, go back again and move it around. And then once you've done that, you can pretty much cut all of this out. So what we could do is we can cut all of that out. You're gonna have to do these individually to there and then to here. And we can grab these and put them here. And then now what we could do is if I mute my phone, this is an audio test recording to show you how to link two audio clips together. If you're using a microphone or a separate... As you can see, that is the onboard microphone for my camera. But if I mute this audio track now and use the Rode Video Micro... This is an audio test recording to show you how to link two audio clips together. If you're using a microphone or a separate recorder or using your phone to link it with your camera. Now, if your camera doesn't have a mic input or you're just... See, very simple, very easy. I wish I did this years ago because it would make my videos a lot better uh, listening-wise. That is how you do it. Very simple, very easy. And this is how I do it with multiple different microphones. Simply clap a few times or you can get those movie clap things to do it. Or just have something that has a really loud noise. For example, the door on the case on my wireless earbuds has a really loud snap. You could do that to do it, or open and close something to link it up. Very simple, very easy, and what you would do is to get rid of the audio you don't want, is once again, unlink this, click the audio you don't want to use, press backspace, and then you can clamp it, was it, click it, and these won't be linked. What you could do is, is highlight both of them, right click, and click link clip. So now if you cut this, and then do that, it will act as if they're both original clips. If this did help you, make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more helpful tips in DaVinci Resolve, if I come across any. And general camera tips and camera tech. If you're, speaking of uh, tech, if you're interested in some wireless earbuds, go check out my review of the Cambridge Audio uh, Mellow Millennium One Plus. Uh, they are very good earphones, I do recommend them. Then again, without further ado, like I said, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and comment down below, uh, what was it? Comment down below what your favorite color is. Pretty random, I know, but what is your favorite color? Please do tell me. Without, what was it, without that out of the way, I hope you guys have a good day. Stay hydrated, stay happy, stay cool, and I'll catch you in another video.